Alright, on this video I will show you how to use a firewall in Ubuntu to protect yourself from intruders. Uh, now there are a bunch of uh, different firewalls that you can get uh, for Ubuntu, but one that I really like and uh, I think it's very simple to use is called uh, GUFW. And uh, to get that, just go to your Synaptic Package Manager. And just search for GUFW. Okay, so just go ahead and install that. And um, actually, after I, in I installed it myself, when I went to applications to look for it, uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, so I had to uh, create a custom uh, menu entry for it. And to do that is very simple. You just right-click uh, the menu. Go to go to edit menus, and uh, I put mine in uh, the internet one. So you can just choose which one you want it, uh, where you want it to be. Uh, it makes sense to have it in uh, uh, under internet, so I did that. And uh, to edit, you just go to add new item, and you enter the information here. And I I already added one, so I'll just show you what I did there. So for the name, I put firewall, but you can put anything you want there, it, it really doesn't matter. And uh, for the command, you just type uh, GUFW. Uh, and then uh, if you want to pick a, an icon for it, you can uh, just click here and uh, choose an icon for it. That's really, pretty much it. So once you do that, uh, you just go to where you uh, edit the entry and click it and it should uh, open up and uh, here it is it's uh, it's very simple as you can see uh, for uh, for most people that uh, that have a router they really don't need a, um, a software firewall because uh, most routers come with a with a firewall um, uh, in the router already so you really don't need uh, to install a, a software firewall but if you have a laptop and you go to uh, public hotspots then it's very important to get a, a software firewall uh, because uh, uh, when you're in a public hotspot it's really not encrypted and it's very easy for somebody to access your computer and steal your data so uh, just get this firewall and what you want to do is check firewall enable to enable it um, once you do that, you have uh, these options here. You can add uh, ports, like exceptions, that will not be blocked. Uh, you have uh, some uh, pre-configured ones, like uh, some pretty common ones, like FTP, IMAP, POP3. So if you enable this firewall and you're having trouble uh, receiving email or sending email, you might want to uh, choose, like if you use IMAP, um, to access your email, you might want to allow IMAP, uh, uh, IMAP. And to do that, you just select it and go to Add. And that's uh, pretty much all you have to do because uh, it's already pre-configured. It already knows the port uh, number for uh, for IMAP. And there's also some advanced ones, uh, advanced features here, like if you want to uh, add an exception, like a range of uh, of ports. If you have a program that uses a bunch of different ports, you can uh, just uh, here enter the where the port number starts and when it ends, and it will open all of those for you. So, uh, if you use uh, if you uh, use like transmission, so I'm gonna go to transmission here. And let's say you're having trouble uh, downloading stuff because you enabled this firewall. Or uh, the downloads are uh, very slow. What you have to do is go to Edit, uh, Preferences, and you want to go to your network. And this is the, the port that uh, Transmission is using. 
it might be different for your uh, for your uh, transmission. So what you have to do, just copy this port number. You just copy it. And you want to go to simple. And all you have to do is paste it there. Just paste it and go to add. And it will add an exception for it. And uh, now it's not going to be blocking um, transmission anymore. So again, if you have a laptop and you uh, and you go to hotspots, like public hotspots, and uh, those don't use encryption, so it's very important to have a firewall. And uh, just stay alert. Uh, if you notice anything suspicious about the way your computer is running when uh, you're on a, a public hotspot like that, uh, just you know, just disconnect uh, because it's very easy for somebody to access your data. Okay, thanks for watching.